Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Hope you're off to a great start to your day. Started it off with some prayer, meditation, Bible reading, Bible study. Once again, if you watch me for any length of time, you know that that's uh, one of the things I'll always encourage you to do. Um, and yes, Tio Javier, I got the trash out. Yesterday it's been picked up, so I am in Lada's good graces. Because heaven help me if I ever forget to take the trash or the recycle out. Have a good message for you today. At least I think it is. I've entitled it today, um, God's Grace. Uh, it's ours, whether we ask for it or not. Um, which brings me to the takeaway. God's grace is free. It comes for, it comes unasked. And uh, though I and probably you continue to pray for his grace. I'm, I'm kind of out of practice, obviously. So let me move, move my notes over here so I'm not glancing away from the camera. I uh, appreciate your patience as I kind of get back into the groove. Um, today's message kind of comes from uh, Table Talk, uh, which is part of the uh, great magazine. Uh, fairly inexpensive, $3 a month. Uh, go to... LigonierMinistries.com or DM me and I'll, I'll give you the link. Um, great, great, great resource. Uh, comes from uh, Luke chapter 19, the story of Zacchaeus, who was a tax collector. He knows Jesus is going to come through town, but he's a short guy, can't see him, so he runs down the road, climbs up in a tree, and just waits to see uh, Jesus. And Jesus, um, I don't know how it works, but uh, read, read Luke 19 calls Zacchaeus down and says, uh, hey, I'm staying with you tonight. And then in Luke 19, 7, all who saw it went to complain. He's gone to stay with a sinful man. Oh my God, he's gone to stay with a sinful man. The horror, which leads me to one of my favorite excerpts, if that's the correct word, from Brendan Manning from the Ragamuffin Gospel about the Lord and how he treats sinners. Here is a revelation, bright as the evening star. Jesus comes for sinners, for those as outcast as tax collectors, Zacchaeus, and for those caught up in squalid choices and failed dreams. Which one of us has not made really bad choices in our lives? Who of us has not had their dreams uh, crushed? He comes for corporate executives, street people, superstars, farmers, hookers, addicts, IRS agents, AIDS victims, and even used car salesmen. Jesus not only talks with these people, he dines with them, fully aware that his fellowship with sinners will raise the eyebrows of religious bureaucrats who hold up their robes and insignia of their authority to justify their condemnation of the truth and their rejection of the gospel of grace. I, I, you know, as you look at it, I, I truly believe God's grace is outside of his son and his gift of the Holy Spirit um, is one of the greatest gifts that, that, that we've ever received from our, from our Father, uh, grace. I, I encourage you today uh, to get in the habit, um, since we are all sinners, we are all sinners, is, is to read Psalm 51 on, on a daily basis. Um, verses 12 through 13 from Psalm 51. Uh, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Uh, those two verses right there kind of led me way back in the day to start GOTV. So um, Psalm 51, if you're not familiar with it, it is a, uh, a psalm of repentance uh, from David after he had had an affair uh, with Bathsheba, um, who was married and got her pregnant and had her husband killed in, in battle. And then um, I'm going to share a little bit of, of, of me today with you guys. Uh, as you know, um, I did have to go to the crazy hospital mm -hmm, um, a couple years back for post-traumatic stress etc 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 and and one of the the things that i struggled with was the fact that i lost men on my watch um and it, it haunted me for years haunted me for years 
Um, and then, of course, the fact that although I didn't personally uh, kill Taliban, uh, I had uh, a good hand in the demise of, of many of, of our enemies. And that comes from Psalm 51, verse 14. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. So maybe a little bit of insight on where I'm coming from today. Uh, the verse of the day, Psalm 116, 16. O Lord, truly I am your servant. O Lord, truly I am your servant. I am your servant. Your son, the son of your maidservant, you have loosed my bonds. We are free. We are free. We have God's grace. We have God's forgiveness. Embrace those things. Embrace those things. Embrace those things. If, if we do that, I think we'll all be better for it. Um, people, we know, people will know that we are Christ followers by not what we do, um, per se. Uh, but that, that's, you know, we're going to reflect God's light. Jesus is like the presence of the Holy Spirit off of us and perhaps on to them. Remember, you can't give your way into heaven. You can't pray your way into heaven. Uh, salvation is yours um, just from the belief in Jesus Christ. Have a great and awesome day. Don't forget to, to pray today. I didn't prep a, a prayer, so uh, forgive, forgive me for that. But go out and knock it out of the park today. And remember, you are saved, you are forgiven, you are loved. DM me if you have any questions or email me, George, S-C-H-M-T-T -T, at gmail.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Name in town if you wish to opine. Fran fans of Bill O'Reilly will we'll catch that one. Thank you for your time. Love you. Bye.